What is a dream? Is the question that Hibino Kafka asked as he was a man with big hopes and aspirations coming from a traumatic childhood, only for life to hit like a truck as such traits that once used to propel him forwards are crumbling down around him as he failed the Defense Force entrance exam, cleans little shit for a living, and worst of all, is reaching his thirties. But one fateful day, he meets Ichikana Reno, whom has aspirations to become something more, which reminds Kafka of his younger years on what drove him after an unintentional encounter with a live kaiju, where Kafka, thanks to Reno's support, reignites his long lost dreams. And the universe would also heed that call by sending a miniature kaiju to reenact Ripley Scott's alien, only unlike John Head, where it succumbed to the parasite. Kafka, as the almost 30 year old millennial Giga Chad he is, fuses with the parasite and becomes Kaiju number 8. Bandai seems to have given it their A game as the SH figure arc succeeds capturing the awe and beauty of Kafka, aka Kaiju Number no. 8, portrayed in the anime. As Kaiju Number no. 8 here, rather than possessing a face akin to your typical kaiju, possesses a literal skull as Kafka's mask in which the white and grey paint job are organically applied. But the visual aesthetics don't end here as Kafka retains its bioluminescent eyes with a green hue. Not to mention those beautifully painted pupils that puts even regular kaijus from the same company to shame. This is not mentioning the nose that, what knows? And if not the true beauty of the Japanese healthcare system in which the people have easy access to a dentist is the beautifully aligned teeth, which, while maybe consisted of the typical carnivorous teeth, but when close, is perfectly balanced with no signs of any cracks or crevices whatsoever, even though the teeth protrude out of the skull and into the deeper depths of the head. Beat up! At least our skulls are not like the Call of Duty! Video game! But if you're not content with your typical kaiju face, kaiju number 8 here, unlike your typical kaiju figure, is accompanied by extra faces. Something that Bandai stepped up considering their previous kaiju accessories. There is this pissed battle face that this time around loses the black iris and instead, similar to a reptile, its pupils expand in which the entirety of the eyes are colored in the pupil green, with the inner pupil being left at the center. In order to recreate Kaiju number 8 when he's engaging against opposing kaijus, this is in addition to the open mouth where the serrated edges of the teeth are shown in their full glory. But if you look closely into the mouth, is the inner tongue it also exposed, but compared to the big G, is dull. Then there's this alternative left staring face in which the eyes possess an eerie left stare alongside the teeth being slightly more exposed as portrayed through the front fangs protruding out, making for a face that's perfect when either conducting the intimidation display or when Kafka spots a would-be predator. But if you want more humanity found in Kafka, there is this anime shock face that foregoes the fearsome aura that the previous faces retained and instead goes all in for the wacky in which the eyes are all white, where the pupils are nowhere to be seen, as well as the wide open mouth with a slight grin at the end that perfectly depicts Kafka when he's either messed with the wrong dog or faced with an ancient Lovecraftian entity. But a point to note is that while the neck by itself is composed of four separate pieces that overlap on top of one another, it's the design that is important as just by the figure standards, the neck, when with the skull face put together, makes Kaiju number 8 resemble that of a samurai Alma used during the Sengoku Jidai, especially with the top piece resembling the helmet alongside the two horns on top being widely adopted during the era. Moving down, Kafka possesses a splendid back that would make a chiropractor proud, as the individual digits are perfectly sculpted and aligned, as well as being bloody shot that by themselves could be used as a weapon. But maybe the best part is Kafka's ripped body.
Seriously though, the 4K HDR6 pack with the turquoise panel lining it applied just makes anyone, regardless of their preferences, come. But similar to the neck, the torso is similarly designed, like armor, adding to the samurai vibe. Mm, holy perversion! With such riz on the torso, I can't wait to get my hands on the- Wait. Is there a- Then again, this is a kaiju that pisses from his tits. So, what did I expect? But looking behind... Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. But what is a man's foundation if not for his legs? As Kafka here possesses a pair of the same dick <laughs> armor-plated legs that not only contribute to kaiju number 8's height, but abides to the kaiju tradition in which the kaijus retain those dick thighs not only to function to attract the jealousy of anime waifus, but to reenact the finishing move utilized none other than by the king of the monsters himself. However, Kaiju number 8, as originating from a human host, foregoes their titular reptile like feet for those akin to a man with even the five digits portrayed. Now, if you're familiar with Kaiju figures, especially from the same company, it's more or less a fool to expect a Kaiju figure to be accompanied by additional accessories at this point. But to my surprise, Kaiju number 8 this time around is packaged with a decent assortment of additional pieces, probably due to it being an SH figure arts than a monster arts. Firstly, besides the faces, Kafka is accompanied by the semi-open hands that show off Kaiju number 8's sharp talons and makes it the perfect accessories when either grabbing or scratching hostiles, but more or less there to express when Kafka realizes he's screwed. But if you want to pull off Kaiju number 8 signature one punch, there is this alternative arm that you apply by removing the original and placing the alternative piece, alongside the alternative leg piece that similarly applies by removing the original leg and attach the spikes in which you have the serious punch mode that can eviscerate relatively weaker kaijus to Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come. But I probably won't have the same effect when applied to the upper echelons. Now, it wouldn't be a kaiju if our boy Kafka here couldn't compensate for his large no chin chin. ass while being in the humanoid scale height-wise is still huge to your common bread. Well at least our schools! On a showing gallery, mate! As number 8 stands at 19 centimeters or 7.5 inches tall. Here's Kafka next to. And not just the men, but the women, and the children, too. But if Kafka could receive the Ultraman treatment, then he would surely put the King of the Monsters a run for his money. Here's Kafka next to. ChatGPT, Gritman, The Big G, and an extraterrestrial. Another factor to consider regarding kaiju figures is that posability is more or less thrown out the window compared to your humanoid contemporaries, probably due to screen accuracy playing a huge part. But this is not the case regarding kaiju number 8 as the posability found here not only surpasses those of fellow kaijus, but even surpasses the range found in most Figma figures. Due to the neck, the head can move up and down, side to side, while the torso can't move back, can do a superb bend. Side to side movement is superb. Even with Kafka possessing a butterfly joint, shoulder movement is limited. A bicep movement is there. The double sided joints allow for a 180 elbow bend, run of the mill hand movement, the armor limits the leg spread, but still good leg movement. Similar to the elbows, knees can bend up to 180 degrees somewhat limited feet movement, and a toe bend. So, regarding articulation, Kafka here puts last week's figure to shame. With the kaiju figures released this year being an all-around banger, kaiju number 8 here contributes to such status quo as Bandai and the SH figure Oz line has released another banger, where the previous detriment such as the limited accessories and range of possibility that plagued the kaiju figures has been remedied. This is portrayed through not only the massive size alongside the superb sculpt, but also with the decent assortment of accessories and a Figma level articulation, places Kaiju number 8 here above most figures. 
and circling over the kaiju's release this year. When talking about the faults, there isn't really anything I can find that brings the figure down. With that said, I will recommend this figure and give the SH Figures Kaiju number 8 a ranking of an A+.